Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Pajama Joe here with another fragrance review. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing two fragrances. One that is very, very new and has not been on the shelves for a very long time. And one that is probably considered a classic and kind of hard to find. <clears throat> I'll tell you uh, how I got it and how long I've had it for. Um, the fragrance I'll be reviewing today for this video here is called Play by Givenchy. I'll tell you a story about how I came across this. Um, I was I had this friend that I had lived next to back when I used to live in California, and he was he was a, he was a very good friend of mine, and uh, he had moved out of the apartments where we were living at. And when he went uh, and moved eastward a little bit, um, I was making plans to go visit him um, at his new place. And uh, I called him up and uh, I was like, yeah, man, I'd really love to come out and visit you. And the plan sort of fell through because of some, because of some, uh, some things that had happened. But... Um, Upon uh, trying to prepare for that little trip, I I had come across uh, this gentleman who lived in the same apartments we were living at, and I knew that he was really heavy into fragrances, and uh, he had a lot of them. And I said, "Man, man, I uh, I'm trying to get a gift for my friend's nephew. Um, you you think you could hook me up with something for twenty bucks?" It's twenty dollars, and was all I had at that time. And he's like, "Oh yeah, sure, I can, I can hook you up with something." And it was this. Uh, I really didn't know too much about fragrances that much back in those days, because I was just barely starting to get into the fragrance game. When he gave me this, I was like, "Huh, that's an interesting looking bottle. Kind of reminds me of." Uh, an iPod, like back in the early 2000s, that was got, got the little play, fast forward, rewind. <laughs> it's going back a minute. But yeah, um, this was the fragrance that he gave me. And for 20 bucks, I thought it was a pretty good deal. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's, I've used this fragrance maybe less than five times since I've had it to be honest I've just kept it in a really well preserved environment and it's basically been retained in that preservation for quite some time uh, I just recently decided to break it out and uh, review it but uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information about this but let me tell you the information that I did find out about it it came out in 2008 and apparently there was a intense version of this fragrance that came out the same year. The perfumer's names, there's two of them. Emily, Emily Copperman and Lucas Sierzak. The parent company is Moet Hennessy and Louis Vuitton. And the notes, there's no top, heart, and base notes in this. It's just... Uh, a barrage of notes which I can understand because it doesn't really shift that much in the scent um, it stays one scent throughout the time that you spray it on to the time that it th dissipates but the notes are bitter orange grapefruit black pepper patchouli tobacco flower accord and vetiver of those notes I get a very nice clean citrus blast Mixed in with something else that gives it sort of a youthful and playful vibe when you wear this. Um, it's a fun fragrance. This is definitely a very fun fragrance. Uh, it reacts really well to the heat. But I would not... I would not say wear this, say, 95 degrees and upwards. Maybe just a little bit cooler than that. But it really does react very well with your um, 
with your body heat. And uh, I sprayed this on yesterday just one time on my neck. And man, did this thing last. Just one spray was good enough for me. And it, it lasted from 10 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock the next morning. I, I could still smell it. But um, I think that it, it may have lasted a little bit longer than that, to be honest. So this thing can, this thing can go. Um, as far as I know, it's still in production. From what I gather, it's this this is still in production, but a little bit hard to find. Like um, I looked on Amazon and I couldn't believe how much they were they wanted for this thing. I, I mean, I spent twenty bucks on this, but that was back in two thousand fourteen, I think. I spent twenty bucks on this, and this is basically how I got it. The same juice level and everything. I'm serious. I've only worn this like maybe four or five times, if that. And this is how I got it. It's a very nice fragrance to wear um, if you're going to be sort of maybe an active. As far as I know, they come out with some flakers of this. some A sport version, an intense version. But this one is the original played by Givenchy um, the first one that started it all and uh, I haven't really haven't really had a whole lot of experience with this but the experience that I do have with it it's a very nice scent um, it's it's a whole lot of fun to to, to wear like it, it's it, it up, uplifts your mood when you wear this thing it's a, it's a very good fragrance. I, I, don't, I don't have anything negative to say about this. It lasts a real long time. On me, anyway. It lasts a good, good amount of time. And the scent is kind of... It's kind of like... It, it kind of brings enthusiasm into your mood. Like you become... Like you want to do a bunch of stuff and be more active. Because the more that, that, you, that your body heats up, the better this thing acts. And it's like, man, this this thing is awesome. I really like this fragrance a lot. And I I assume that there's some people out there that might consider this fragrance to be a classic. And I kind of agree with that. There, there's really not any fragrances that I have seen that smell like this. There are some fragrances out there that, that bear striking similarities to others and uh, are made by the same perfumer and uh, use the same chemicals to make specific notes that smell exact like, exactly like other fragrances. But this one is unique in a way where there's not a whole lot of fragrance I've come, fragrances I've come across that smell like this. A very nice fragrance to have. <clears throat> well, that is my review and opinion about play by Givenchy um, I'm gonna try to get in another review here in a little bit on another fragrance but uh, I wanted to do this one to sort of uh, give my opinion on it because it was kinda hard to come across information about this but when I did I was like yeah I could probably I could probably work with this with this bit here because the the only kind of uh, way that I speak on the information about these fragrances is um, basically written on just a sticky notepad and everything else is sort of like winging it I guess you would say but uh, yeah so thank you for watching my video about Givenchy's play have a nice day, everybody.